Welcome back to Low Country Spotlight. I'm your host, Margie Pizarro. Uh, you know, we have been talking over the last couple of weeks in our different shows about how to live a healthier life, how to be more, more balanced in what we do in terms of um, activities we participate in, you know, foods we eat, exercise, and things of that nature. I am so happy to welcome today to Low Country Spotlight my second guest, and she is Denise Cassano. She is actually a pharmacist by profession, but she has actually shifted from the area of uh, filling prescriptions and things of that nature onto probably a more holistic approach to uh, different issues in life. So welcome to Low Country Spotlight, Denise. Thank you so much. So happy you could be here. Now tell me the name of your company again. Essential Pharmacy, but okay. it's spelled like farming, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. Okay, so you were a pharmacist for by profession for a number of years, but now you have shifted to um, working with oils and using oils just for different um, areas in life. Tell us a little bit about your decision, first off, to move from being a pharmacy and dispensing drugs to help with different conditions and now um, using oils. I felt like God has provided and still feel like God has provided for us a way to provide for our health and our wellness, and it's a better way. It is more of a proactive approach to mm -hmm. health and wellness, not so much reacting. Right. And so for thousands of years, this has been used. Oils were actually used even before herbs were used. Mm -hmm. So this is not something new, even though people are hearing more and more about it now. They um, have been using them for thousands of years just to provide wellness and to support our body and our systems and multiple different body systems. So it's, um, you know, it's an, an ancient art, really. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's new, even though people are beginning to hear about it now, probably right. with social media and all the different types. So it's, it's really exciting to me to see what we can help people to take charge of their own health and wellness and right. not feel like they have to um, just wonder, what can I do? They really can affect their own. Right, and it's so interesting that you say that it's more of a proactive approach as opposed to reactive. I mean, I go to the pharmacy when I go to the doctor mm -hmm. and they tell me what's wrong and they write a prescription. I go through the drive through at my local pharmacy and pick up those drugs and go home and try to feel better. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how what the oils do could be more proactive in helping us to remain healthy. Well, they are, they literally work with your body, which is one of the things I love about them is that it's not overriding your body. It literally works with your body and it works at a cellular level. So you can use them topically, aromatically, or internally. And I use them all three ways daily. I do, um, it depends on which oils you use. They are not all created equal. Mm -hmm. um, if they, if the people who manufactured them and distributed them provided them for us in the way which God provides them, mm -hmm. then that would not be the issue. However, most times money becomes an issue right. and the, we are, many people are willing to compromise the integrity of the oil for the value, uh, right. you know, just to be able to make more profit. So it really matters the quality of what oil that you're using. Um, Young Living Essential Oils are the only ones that I will use for my family and the only ones that um, I have found success with. As a matter of fact, I'm very honored. This I'm leaving this coming week to go and visit one of our farms in Ecuador. Wow. So I have visited two of our farms um, already, and we have 10 farms all over the world. Okay. So um, as you, that's one of the benefits this company provides for us. As um, you help other people, then they provide incentives for you. And so I love it because we get to go and learn more. We get right. to go and visit the farms and learn how they are harvested and distilled. and the whole seed to seal process, mm -hmm. which is what makes us different. And you, seed to seal, I wanna know how this process begins. First off, I mean, really, forgive me, this is gonna be a dumb question, but what is it, the dumb, the dumb question is the one that's not asked. Where <laughs> do right. they come from? Is it from a plant? It is, is it from the ground? Absolutely, yes, is it from, well, a from tree? the ground, but it depends on the oils, okay? okay? So they come from the plants, and it depends on the plant itself as to where that oil is. So mm -hmm. it could be from the leaves or from the bark or from the flower. It just depends on that particular oil, the root. So cinnamon would be from the bark, okay. but um, you know, lavender, we distill the whole plant, and then whenever they put it into the distiller, it's going to pull out from low pressure and low um, heat mm -hmm. that pulls the oils from that plant. And there are some, there's various ways in which they're distilled, yeah. but it just depends on the plant itself, where that oil is found. Now you just mentioned two that are very familiar to mm -hmm. me, cinnamon, which is a spice. Mm -hmm. You know, my, da my stepdaughter loves to have cinnamon sugar in her <laughs> oatmeal. You know, and then you said lavender, which I just equate to like something that's in my, um, 
my Purex crystals, you uh -huh. know, it's, it's one of the scents. How is it that those two things are converted to oils and then what do they do to help us? Okay, well the oils themselves provide a benefit for the plant, but just okay. as in they provide that benefit for the plant, they provide a benefit for our bodies as well. Okay. So, like I said, there's a whole chemistry and science behind how that works and some phenomenal resources out there. Dr. David Stewart has written a couple of books. Um, one is The Healing Oils of the Bible and the other is The Chemistry of Essential Oils Made Simple. It is a chemistry book, so I won't say it's really simple, but it is phenomenal in learning how the oils really do work with our body. And it's, I mean, it is complicated, but of course God created them, so yeah. how simple. I mean, we'll never understand all that he's done. And I love that the more I study it, mm -hmm. the more I see God's handiwork yeah. in it. Um, I'm seeing just phenomenal, just reactions and responses that people are having mm -hmm. as they are learning more about them and how they're seeing that they work for our body to support us emotionally yeah. and physically and spiritually and just in so many different ways that, I, you know, I never heard of them before. Yeah. I've only been studying for the last two and a half years mm -hmm. and it has just really been the most phenomenal ride God has ever taken me on for well, sure. Well, and you know, this is going to sound so stupid again, like who knew? I, I mean, like who knew that we would have the ability to, you know, choose our method of living and, and responding to different things that our body does, you know, as opposed to just, well, let me, let me go to um, Wikipedia or let me go to ask a doctor or something. Mm -hmm. But there's really kind of a whole, seemingly a whole nother science that says, you know, there are certain oils that we can use to address certain conditions in our life, you know, whatever it is. Well, you know, what's interesting to me is that this is something that they've known for thousands of years. Yeah. And this is nothing new. Uh, you know, Gary Young, who's our founder, he even went into a secret tomb when he was over in Egypt and there were hieroglyphics there mm -hmm. that he was the first one to ever photograph oh, wow. that was talking about the cleansing of the flesh and the blood that had to do with the emotional, what they believed in, in Egypt, that you had to be able to pull the, or address the emotional issues in the, in the body. So this is nothing new. This yeah. is, but it's been lost because right we've gotten away from it. And just as historically, they've handed down different ways of doing things. Our grandparents may, yeah. well, probably not even our grandparents, but you know, centuries ago, they handed that down. But over the last several hundred years, mm -hmm. that's been lost. So wow. now we are being able to recapture it and um, help people to see, we can go back to the basics, which is what I felt like God was impressing upon me when right. we first moved, get back to the basics. And then when I found these, I'm like, now I'm understanding what he's meaning. So it right. was, I mean, it's not a, just a single handed approach. I really believe it's coupled with what we eat, mm -hmm. um, exercise yeah. as you, man, you mm -hmm. mentioned earlier, as well as are we drinking pure water or are we drinking water that's full of chemicals? Wow. Our body's not meant to take all that stuff in. Wow. So it all works together. And we are about out of time, but I just, I know you have a couple of oils. We don't have time to get to them, but I want you to give us some information. We can put, up, put it on our Facebook page so that people can learn more about the essential oils. This has been Denise Cassandra. Um, with essential oils. What, tell me the name of your pharmacy again with an F. <laughs> essential Pharmacy essential, with an F. Essential Pharmacy. Stay with us. We've got more Low Country Spotlight coming up. Mm -hmm.